Christmas! Merry Christmas! And welcome to the Chateau de la Lande's 2020 Advent Calendar. Every single member of the Chateau household is going to be involved in these videos. Mm -hmm. Marie with the florals. Yes, there'll be Kat in the kitchen. Yeah. And Selma. Yes, he'll be doing a bit of yeah. Christmas carpentry. So there's a lot to look forward to. But in a chateau, there is so much decorating to do in preparation for Christmas. Yeah. So I hope that you enjoy following us over the next few days as we get this chateau perfectly ready for Christmas. It's a lot of fun making these. It's so much fun and I hope that you enjoy watching them and that you find a lot of inspiration for the season ahead. Yes. Welcome to day 24 of Advent here at the Chateau de la Lande where as you can see we're getting ready for our big Christmas Eve party tonight and Ian has just arrived to save the day. And an aperitif to start it all off. Well, not only are you saving the day, you're also bringing an aperitif. An aperitif, with said goose. <laughs> one frozen goose. Rather nice one. Good Thank size, you I think. You're welcome. so much, because you'll laugh when you see the size of our turkey. It's smaller than that goose for a start. Ah, oh. It was the biggest one they had in the supermarket. Um, and the food hasn't arrived from England, probably because of all those massive delays of those poor Absolutely. people at the border. So we're going to have an amazing meal on New Year's Eve <laughs> when it finally gets here. Well, the wild radishes in the greenhouse. So you, the day. Oh well, there we go. Out. We're fine. Radishes, yeah. radishes for Christmas. Yeah. What do you reckon, Michael? Radishes for Christmas. Awesome. Radishes and bread. Actually, we could do some really nice like radish and onion like little com confit. Confit. Well, we should definitely do something with the radishes as we've got them, and yes. it's the only thing growing did, at La Lande. Did you grow Brussels sprouts this year? No, we didn't, why, and why they've didn't run you, out in the shops. Why didn't you grow Brussels sprouts? Don't ask me, ask Dan. <laughs> Love Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Thank you so much for saving the day. You're more than welcome. Do you want a little You're bit welcome. of the aperitif before you, you go? A bit if you wish. I think we why should not? try that. It is after all the 24th. You made this, didn't you? Yes, yes. Do you want to talk us through it? Yes, it's uh, a croix made with uh, a rosé wine and... Uh, I can cognac, just to give it a bit of a boost. Are you serious? Quince, rosé and cognac? Yes. Well, I can only have a taste because I'm on antibiotics, but I'm sure the others are going to dig it up. Yeah, well, look at that. Yes. <laughs> Philip's already yeah. going for the glasses. Yeah. Cheap, cheap. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yeah, perfect. Keep all the grease for your roast potatoes. Oh, don't you worry. I'll be keeping that. This is me cooking it, so yeah. don't worry. Yes, all nice. the fat will be preciously we'll get at least kept. Half a a jar off of him. But look Maybe at more. it. What a beautiful nice. goose. That's the biggest one I've ever cooked. There we are. Yeah. I hope it fits in the oven. Um, lob his neck off, it'll be fine. <laughs> Go in then. <laughs> I think you might need to open this, Ian. Glass cork. You make it look so easy. Cheers. Cheers. Merry, Christmas, Merry Christmas and to the Christmas oh. saviour. Cheers. Cheers. You won't Cheers. go hungry. Okay, Cheers. Yeah. Oh. Well, I wish I could have an entire glass of that. That is mm. delicious. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> oh, I don't believe it. Seriously, Ian just arrived and saved the day with the goose. Everyone who's been out says there's no Brussels sprouts to be had. Well, look what we've got. How did you find them? Well, it's, got, it's got magic sticks. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, you've got your sources. Like magic. We've got our sources. Oh, Ooh. love it. You have so. saved Christmas. I mean, I'm not a huge fan, but uh, no. Michael Potts definitely is. And still, it's not Christmas lunch without them. Brussels sprouts, yeah, is, is one of the one, the biggest ingredients, right? Yeah, yeah, we need that. Thanks so need, much, Hash. Have them with bacon bits. Bacon uh, bits. Yeah, sure we can. If not, on. If, do we have any bacon bits? Somebody's going shopping for lunch. Yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> I <laughs> know. Uh, <laughs> I'm decorating the table today. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whilst we're busy preparing the chateau for our Christmas Eve party, I have some footage that Mummy and Percy have sent to me that I think you'll love. On the years that she spends Christmas in South Africa with Percy, my mother buys lots and lots of plastic buckets and fills them with food and distributes them to the homeless in the area around where she and Percy live. This year is no exception and she has sent us some footage of Percy and her finding the buckets and packing them up delivering them to the people there. So during our preparations, I'll keep going back to their footage to show you the various stages. We're starting with them in the supermarket, looking for the buckets, and please excuse the footage. Mummy and Percy are fantastic on the vlog, but they're not that used to wielding the camera. The years before, we, we used large buckets, 20 liters buckets, because they're very really useful for people 
who have no water, obviously, um, and have to carry their water and fill that bucket with the goodies. So the wrapping was also a present, so to speak. So we're looking to see what bucket they have this year. It's just a bit small, isn't it? The pink one would be better. It looks like 20 liters to me. Yes, I Yes. They have better handles. That's right, strong so handles. It's quite heavy by the time they added sugar. And, and they won't, it won't hurt their hands because that is a nice grip yeah. on the handle. We will put biscuits. We'll put um, we'll in some tea. tea. And cornflakes. Um, I don't usually, we didn't before. No, we didn't last no, time, but we, we don't have to do exactly the same. No, I agree. It's a space. We, we cram as much as we can. Milk, I mean, that takes a lot of space. Milk, um, milly meal, rice. Oh, we always put lentils and beans and sugar. We put sugar. Shall we go and pay now? Yes, I said that ten minutes ago. Did you? That's funny, I never heard it. Yes. That's the next thing hearing. I'm really liking this bread making mm. frenzy. Yeah, so what I'm going to do today is I've made enough to do two batches. Yeah. So I'm going to do like a breakfast, yeah, lunch batch, <laughs> and a dinner batch. And when did you start proving that? Uh, that was last night. So is that the secret that you leave it for absolutely ages? Yeah. We were so busy yesterday, I can't believe we didn't open the presents. <laughs> <laughs> Which means we get two to open today. Are you gonna open these? Um, yeah, and we can also open, we can leave the beauty ones for Natty right. and Marie. Right. And then we can open the others. Yeah. Brindy there. Mm, a winter lettuce and sweet corn. Well, that's Thanksgiving good. sorted <laughs> next year. I'm sorry about my hairstyle, everyone, mm -hmm. but uh, I curled it a bit, well, waved it for tonight, and I didn't want the curls. Ooh. Oh, there's rose petals falling out of this. I didn't want the curls to fall out before the party tonight, so I've just pinned it to the top of my head. More beautiful plates. Good morning, Stephanie. These are for your collection and hope they bring you joy. Well, the top one is just gorgeous it's really nice i think that should almost go on a wall somewhere dreamtown johnson brothers that is stunning i love it and i'd say roger one. yeah roger on the wall would be amazing and chambord okay when lockdown is over shall we go to chambord oh, yeah so please. we can drive there from here easily i think we drive past it thank you linda okay now Philip. Yes. We have to get this room ready for 16 people to have Christmas lunch. And we can't fit 16 around this table, so we're going to have to... Get the white tables? Yeah, add trestle tables as well. <clears throat> yeah. And then I have bought the spoke set. I've been adding to it little bit by little bit. And something that was really lovely is that most of the plates, not all, I still found some little extras elsewhere, but most of the plates I bought on eBay from the director of the Spode Museum and all the profits from the sale of these plates went to the upkeep of the museum. So I'm very, very happy that I was able to contribute to that in this way. So obviously these are not being produced anymore. So I'm building the set slowly, which means we don't have enough for everyone to have the same things, but we've got some plain, gold and white plates that will mix in with it. So we'll just mix and match, it's okay. And then I bought something amazing for the table this year because I've been reading a lot about, you know, little white porcelain figures. I always wondered what their original purpose was and it turns out that they were used to decorate dining tables. So the little people would be sort of walking along the table. <laughs> in the 18th century, which seems really charming to me. And I had that in the back of my mind and thinking one day I'd like to do something like that. And I was looking for the beautiful uh, nativity figures for the chapel. And I was looking at so many different types of nativity figures and finally found the ones that I wanted in Italy, which are just perfect for the beautiful stable that Selmar has made. 
But whilst I was researching and looking at all of these different nativity sets, I found a vintage set for sale on Etsy in California, which I fell madly in love with. And it was wrong for our crash. It was a little too small, but I thought it might be perfect for the Christmas table. Oh, I can hear something. It was dinner. Dana's, yeah, it's yes. definitely Dana. Let's go and see Dana. <laughs> Dana's a road. I haven't seen her for weeks. We haven't seen her at all during lockdown. She's had a COVID test, it's negative, and so she's coming for Christmas. Oh my God, it's so beautiful! Oh my God, it's stunning. Oh really? I'm feeling quite like yes. hungry, but it felt right for Christmas Eve. We've got work to do in the house, so we've got a tartan on. Ready to go. Look at him. Hey, what's up? Good to see you. How are you doing? Really good, how are you? Very fine. Very nice. Nice to meet you. Hey. This is Dana's son, Tom. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. What's your name? Sorry, Philip. Philip? Yeah. Okay, nice to meet you. So we're going to make aperitif dinatoire. Aperitif dinatoire is the French for basically just canapé evening. It's an aperitif dinatoire means dining aperitif. So yes, so canapé, oysters. Uh, other stuff, uh, many, many things. I see you're getting prepared. I am, I'm ready for this evening. <laughs> <laughs> right, we better go back because we're doing the table. Oh, oh wait, wait, just the woman we need. Really coming uh, to well, table. The yeah. I was just explaining, actually, you come in at the perfect time because I can tell you at the same time, I bought this amazing nativity set. Oh. And the idea is that the nativity set will be on the entire dining table so that the, you know, the meaning of Christmas is there with us whilst we're having Christmas dinner. Mm -hmm. So we'll put all of the food on the buffet and we can serve ourselves there yes. and we can focus on the nativity. So I was thinking for the flowers, yes. maybe lots of foliage, lots of greens, yep. let the nativity do most of the talking. Mm -hmm. So probably actually the flowers that you kind of love doing, very natural, yeah. very... Yeah, whatever just... you think. I'll show you the set. Yes. So here it is. This is the the heart of the nativity. Aww. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. That's so pretty. Oh, yeah, it's really cute, isn't it? He must have had a staff. Right? They're being swamped by parrots. Yeah. Let's uh, <laughs> put those to one side. <laughs> the killer parrots have arrived. They're very um, um, low. They're not very high. They're not very high. So no. that's why I was thinking. Maybe we could have some high things in the middle or on the sides mm -hmm. and have those in between. Or we keep the whole thing like almost on the table, mm -hmm. foliage on the table. Yeah. You let me know what you think is best. Because I think if you're going to use all of these, um, you probably don't want too much greenery. Because um, I was thinking that we may do a flat table garland okay. um, to lay it all over. Yes. But instead of making it very thick, yes. you could just make it very thin and sort of just... And then put these in between. Yeah, yeah. That, that sounds really that nice. That could be a idea and I can use ivy. I'll um, show you the tallest ivy, piece. I mean, um, holly. I can use holly, mistletoe and fir. Just I love green that. and a little bit of red. Yeah, and the white from the mistletoe. Yeah. That like seems that. perfect. Yeah. This is the tallest piece. All right. It's just, it's so good. I'll show you all the pieces because it just gets better and better. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Mammy? <laughs> okay, well, we have, unlike our main nativity outside, we have the ox and the ass. So, so yep. Well, you can't have a nativity without a camel. No, 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 no. Um, we have one baffling man. Okay. Uh, who appears to just have brought bread in his hat. I don't Very know. French. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can't have it without a little bit of bread. And there is, thank goodness, stop panicking, Christmas goat. Great. Yes. No, we were worried. No nativity is complete without Christmas goat. We have presumably a show. He might be the goat herd, actually, mm -hmm. because our shepherd came in two pieces. It's the only one that's broken. Looks like what a magician's egg broke? gone wrong. It's a, he must have broken on the oh, way no. here. Uh, and look, he's holding a little lamb. So mm. it's a really nice piece. What but it's a he? clean break and I bought porcelain glue. Yeah. So we'll glue that now. Mm -hmm. Three wise men. Very dashing, all of them. Yeah. One of them's kneeling. Mm -hmm. But they didn't come on one camel. Mm -hmm. No, they did not. Yeah. <laughs> They came on three camels. I see. But you've got a little bit of height here. Yeah, that's it. It helps. Yeah. 
Candle wise, what, what are you thinking? Oh, I thought lots of candles. Lots of tall candles or I, um, maybe low ones. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. I quite like tall candles. I think that would be quite a nice contrast. That will give us the height think, that we're yeah. not getting from the flowers. Yeah, because I think if we do all the green mm -hmm. and holly and really low and flat on the table and leave these to pop yes. out from the greenery, yes. you can have the candles sort of popping up here and there, yeah. which would be quite nice. I think that would be beautiful. And everyone can see each other. Yeah, <laughs> I think that would be beautiful. Yeah, all right. Do you want to see the weirdest character? I mean, I think it's it's, it's between Christmas goat and what I can only presume because <laughs> he's clearly holding something in his hand. I think that he must be the guy who leads the camels. Mm. I think that the kings must have been on the camels, oh. and he must have been leading the lead camel. Oh. So Christmas he seems camel leader. Very dramatic. He is. Well, he's walked all the way from the far <laughs> east. I mean, he's absolutely He's just getting his breath. Yeah, Give the guy a break. on the camels. Uh, and we have one final piece. It's the angel. Nice. So the angel can just hang. If we make sure the nativity is in the centre, mm. the angel can hang above yeah. the nativity. That's nice. Yeah. I like that. What tablecloth are you using? I think maybe we go for something really different from previous years and we go for a white and gold. Oh, wow. I like that. With white and no, green. I like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like that. Do something just really pale and icy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Michael, come and see the new <laughs> nativity. Yeah, the no. new nativity. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, they're amazing, aren't they? Good, everyone. Yes. Oh, no, no, we have more than everyone. Oh. Oh, you look amazing. Thank you. I look better than that. Oh! Wow! Well, did we just, did did get, I didn't get it. That outfit is amazing! Hello! Happy Christmas! This is a cooking uh, outfit. Yeah! <laughs> One question. Yeah. How long is the time? Uh, I need to know how long the garland shall be. Right, well, shall we all together yeah. get the other table in and calculate how much we need for yeah. 16 Probably people? Probably tables, plural. Two more tables. Of the, the plastic ones? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll get the one in my studio. I'll get okay. the one from upstairs. Great! <laughs> well, you look as though you mean business, Christmas Elf. I'm ready. Right, what are you ready for? To making the, the trying to make the Christmas bread. You're making the stollen that you were talking about yeah, when we did our Q&A. We, we cannot get it here, so... I, this is the first time, but I have all the ingredients. Oh, no way. And uh, just give it a try. Okay, show me what you're up to. Okay. So you're not working in here. No, it's too, too many people to yeah, do Yeah, Dana and Natty are about to start cooking for tonight. <laughs> if Dana is here, you, uh, you yeah, have to yeah. get out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so you're using which kitchen? Uh, from Nick and Marie. Man. Right, fantastic idea. It's not warm here. They're coming the day after tomorrow, so we better start warming up the house. <sighs> right. Yeah. Gosh. So you set up a little station. And they have uh, the mixer here also. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know how much I have to uh, use, so I, I put it from the internet. Yes. 350 gram of uh, flour. Fantastic. Does it fit in? Oh, 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 oh. We got a bit overexcited there, someone. <laughs> Uh, it's a little bit too much, eh? You need a spoon. You have to be precise here, eh? Yes, for baking, yeah. There we go. And this is the, 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 the rising stuff, eh? The yeast. Yes. You've got excellent ears today. <laughs> 35 grams of sugar. Oh, this is the good sugar. Yeah, you like this golden Whoa. sugar. Why am I so exciting? Because <laughs> you really like that sugar. <laughs> It's a little bit too much, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, salt. Why is it so that you cannot get it out? Yeah? You do, you pour it out the front, you pour it. <laughs> That's mm. not handy. Because it's wet. <laughs> yes, it's, it's wet. wet. This is really not handy. This is hilarious. <laughs> Trying to get seven grams of sugar. I mean, you've been at it for over a minute and it still shows zero. <laughs> Oh, minus five. Oh, oh dear, we're going backwards. <laughs> How's that, how that possible? Oh 
dear. Oh, that's thrown us. That's, that's exactly so minus we... five grams of salt. <laughs> Look, that's probably about a teaspoon, isn't it? I think it's a... I'd just use that. <laughs> <laughs> One lime is going in. Lime. And then uh, the rosina, 250. And so the whole pack. I, I found this and I thought it's nice to do a little bit of this. Nice, yes. The confit yeah. lemon, lemon peel. Yeah. And then... Um, I found some nuts, so that's also nice, a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. It's not on the uh, no. menu, but... But this is the Selmar way. Yeah, just <laughs> be creative with what you found, eh? <laughs> well, I'm going to let you get on. We're putting the yeah. fruits into it okay. and going check on starting the dining table. Yeah. <sighs> Quite excited. We're doing tomorrow's table today, so it's one less thing to do on Christmas Day itself. And then tonight we have to put... Uh, Tonight we're going to get dressed up and we're going to have canapes in the winter salon yeah, and for dinner. And, and which time are you going to bring uh, Jesus in the crib? Yeah, we're going to, I, put, I think we'll put Jesus in um, just after midnight if we're yeah. up or in the morning if we're not. And we'll and bring the crib over this evening. Yeah, yeah perfect. And we're looking forward to it. Bring, the, the... bring Jesus tomorrow. Perfect. Okay, see you later. I'll come and check on you. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, thank you. And now we'll go back to Mummy and Percy, where they're starting to pack the buckets full of food. So far we have put oil and milk and red beans and lentils in there. Eh? Yes. And now it's Next sugar. Is sugar, but sugar must first be wrapped in plastic to ensure they don't get contaminated with any of the oil or cold drink that we're going to put in. Here we go again after yesterday's shopping spree. Yes, things so are working out quite well. You're putting the good fish. Thing, good thing we've got a table, it's not exactly yes. what it should be used for. Yes. But it works well. Absolutely. They're building up our little buckets. Look, building up. So, we go several times to do the shopping because otherwise it's a lot for us to uh, carry. These two are not complete. No, because... they're not. They need sugar. Yeah. And, uh, but I'm aware of it, yes. And this one, darling, we've got spares here to make another other parcels later. Yeah, we've got some spares. So we've got spares there, uh, which we will give away. You know, we told the man 24 and it's 22. Ah, that's, that's right. That's why we've got spares. Yes, of course. But anyway, we will give 24. We've got the spare. Well, there's a lot going on here. I can see that Dana, Dana's running a tight ship in this kitchen. <laughs> I have my, the most beautiful and Michael, ever. You do, you really do. Every time I look at you, you look slightly more glamorous than last time I looked at you. <laughs> It's amazing. Later. Do you recognize? Oh. What you is recognize? this? This is the galetto pomme de terre, <gasps> but wonderful. But we have uh, changed it a slide. Garlic butter. Can you smell? Yum. It? Can you smell? Yeah, you it? can. Smells yeah. delicious. Yeah. Now we can stop. Oh my! Okay, and stop. Selma. And now you need to find me. How are things that. going with you? This uh, goes in. It's now the yeah. shape of a bread. Yes. So I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, it okay, well, as one bread comes out, yours can go in because yeah. Michael's has it's just ready. come out. Oh, <gasps> oh Michael, when can we have some? What's the shape? Half now. Okay. Oh, 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 I can yeah. barely wait. Oh, 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 oh. Do we do a T along one end or do we do an H? Um, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. One more H would do it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's okay. do an H. What? Oh, yesterday. We forgot to open it yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah, excellent. Oh, Ooh, what is it? This. This is the ordinary caffeine solution. It reduces the appearance of eye contour, pigmentation, and puffiness. Well, that is just what I need. <laughs> <laughs> it's what we all need at the end of Advent, actually. Yeah. <laughs> We'll share it. <laughs> yeah, the household. <laughs> no, actually, 
Yeah, I love his friend, so thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Pleasure. <laughs> Let's see how things are going in the kitchen. That looks beautiful, oh. Selma. That looks perfect. How come you always say, I've never made this before, and then it comes out perfectly <laughs> every time? <laughs> That's you too. So, okay. Then beautiful. For, uh, 35 minutes. Great. And then after that, you put melt some butter. Okay. And some sugar. Great. There's now a roll like this of spice oh. inside of it. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> yum. Okay, in the oven it goes. What are you working on, Hash? Um, it's for our tart. Ooh, sweet potato tart. Yes, gluten free. Mm -hmm. And uh, there will be another. Um, my other sous chef is making very professionally the onions for the tart aux oignons. Ooh, I love tart aux oignons. Mm -hmm. We're making some canapé from vegetables for the yes. veggies and vegans. Lots of avocado. Mm, the best. I love avocado. Caviar d'aubergine. <gasps> Whoa! Oh, it's oozing. <laughs> Yum. Look at this. And this is the sushi stuff. It's the rice for the sushi. Ah. Well, it is an aperitif dinatoire. I'm so looking forward to tonight. <laughs> I think that looks really pretty. Good. Yeah, so nice. Because we didn't have enough of one type of tablecloth to cover all three tables, but these marry really well together. How's it going, Selma? Oh my goodness, it looks perfect. Five minutes more? Yeah, it was five minutes. Uh, yeah, half an hour. Yeah, okay. Soon! 35. <laughs> it's already completely dark outside, but I see the light on in the elf studio. <laughs> How's it going? Good, yeah, good. And um, this is the third. Um, <gasps> yeah. It's beautiful, Marie. Thank you. Well, this is just for the side tables. So yes. I'm making two little two ones like that. Ones, well, I say little. They're still quite big. And then the main ones here. And I'll uh, put it on the table, and then I'll see if it's a bit tall. And yes. I'll trim it down a little bit. Okay, fantastic. Can we can do that in place. Extend the. Um, the ends a little bit. I think the, that might be a good idea, yeah. the extension. We'll see. Um, it's easier when you put it on the table. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, so the last bit's in place over there. Yeah, yeah, it's ready. Just need to finish the third one. I really like the mistletoe in it. I think it, yeah. it just adds such a lovely touch. Really, really lovely. How is it going over there? It's going really well. Yeah. Uh, the kitchen is a madhouse. Okay. If you want a little bit of peace and quiet, stay out of the kitchen okay, today. <laughs> <laughs> but Philip and I are getting on really well in the dining room. Good. So come over whenever you're ready. Yeah, well. See, bye. Bye. I think it's um, Oh, yes, yes. It's okay now. Okay. Yeah, it is. That is beautiful. Yeah. Well, look at this, everyone. Okay. It's amazing. Very good. Mm -hmm. What is inside? Oh, wow. Uh, marzipan inside. Ooh. Yeah, what? Marzipan. Yeah, yeah, it's a oh, stolen. Gosh, it looks delicious. Amazing. The color it comes. So this is like dessert? That is much, yeah, much yeah. better. I like it in the morning. This is a Christmas bread oh. for tomorrow morning. Oh! oh. Really nice in the Christmas. Morning. Oh. That's it? Come on, it's ready. It's beautiful. That yeah. is beautiful. Yet one more reason to look forward to Christmas morning. Yo! <laughs> Certainly, wow. Well done, you should be proud. That's amazing. So. You'll come with your, with your hat, do you promise? Do you want that? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. can I? Okay, okay excellent. <laughs> okay, well. Cash, can you tell me what you're making? Because it's beautiful. Okay. It's avocado, um, coriander, and fig um, droplets. Wonderful. So it's a great combination. Avocado, coriander and fig. Guacamole. Oh, it's beautiful how you're organizing it so perfectly. That's Look at Nati. This is not teaching. She was born this way. <laughs> Baby, you, you were born this way. <laughs> you're the best sous chef ever. You ready? Yes, whilst I frantically edit today's video, Michael has brought fresh, warm bread. Yeah, to the editing station. Oh, that's a good sound, isn't it? Now this is going to keep me going beautifully. <gasps> Michael, you are really good at this. Thanks. This is my best loaf here, I think. <laughs> what uh, What are you editing at the moment? Today. Oh. Yeah. Today's shenanigans in the build up to tonight's party. Uh, it's a nice party. What's the time? It is now. Quarter past six.
Okay, good. good. <laughs> Are you suggesting I'm not going to be ready in time? Wow. Stuff and nonsense. Wow. What is bread without butter? You make the best bread. Yeah? Mmm. Yes. I love this. It looks so, so good. Can't wait to see it with Marie's flowers. Yeah, that's going to level it up. <laughs> yeah, and the nativity. <laughs> yeah. Marching towards the holy family at the centre. <laughs> Do you want to try some bread? Michael's just brought some of his bread straight out of the oven. Sure. It's in the editing station. I'll come and get it. You keep wandering past me with delicious things that I'm not allowed to eat yet. <laughs> these are all the wonderful canopies. What are these ones? This is red kidney beans. Yes. And um, a bit of pepper for garnishing. And it's got a tiny bit of lemon in it, just for a little twist. Oh, sounds so good. Mm. And there's more coming. Oh. Hello. Hurrah! <laughs> Christmas has landed. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit wet. <laughs> I hope that's okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's got a whole day to dry out. Yes. You don't need it till yes. tomorrow lunchtime. Um, yes. um, so, what I'm going to do oh, is nice. to lay them down and then I'm just going to extend them a little bit on the table. Yes. Because we want a little bit of length, I think. Yes. It looks really pretty in here. Thank you. Yeah. There we go. Beautiful. I really like it. Me too. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. It, yeah. It's absolutely what the table needed. Yeah. It had this strange white area in the middle that meant nothing. Yeah. Uh, I think it'll be quite nice. And then we got another one like this. Yeah. And it still gives us lots of place for the glasses, yeah. which is usually the problem with the flower displays that I do. There's nowhere to put the glasses. Yeah. This is excellent. Perfect, Mavi. Not finished. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some more um, mistletoe to add on and more greens just to, um, yeah. You know, extend the sides a little bit, and then you can obviously yes. adjust it if you want to. You just tuck it down under. Like oh, that. lovely! So it looks a little bit um, like wider a, and flatter. Yeah. Yeah. It yes. looks great. The minute it starts spreading out onto the table, it actually yeah. makes it come to life. Yeah. It looks really good with the tree because the holly brings in the red from the tree as well. It all marries together really well. Yeah, it does. It will be very pretty with all the candles, I think. Mm. It all marries together very well. Of course. Marries what? together. It all marries together. All the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been drinking? I haven't. <laughs> I saw him have a liqueur chocolate, so that's, that's a lie. Yes. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Honestly, this is torture. It's complete torture. <laughs> Hash keeps going past with amazing things too. Natty, they look pretty, right? Yeah. <laughs> More than pretty, they look perfect. Marie, look at these. It looks amazing. Oh, what wow. Is it? It's avocado, salmon, a little bit of um, eggs, oh, caviar, whatever. I like oh. it. <laughs> this is officially going to be our best Christmas <laughs> Eve ever. <laughs> so this is the final look. Yeah. That is beautiful. Thank you. Yes, it's so lovely. Like it. Yeah, I love it. I don't just like it. Now, Philip and I will start putting the nativity on. Yes. And the candles. Yes, that would be quite fun. It'll be good to see it all, all sorted. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go. Okay, can't wait to see what you're wearing tonight. Wow. Um, is that celeriac? Celeriac. Oh probably celeriac. And celeriac then hummus, and beetroot. Hummus. Hummus and um, caviar d'aubergine. Caviar they just get better and better. Don't they? Wow. <laughs> it's unbelievable what you're all producing. It's incredible. It's all just great teamwork. Yeah, it is. You're your magical Christmas team. That's it. Oh, wow, Steph, that looks amazing. Hey, what do you think? Yeah, very beautiful. The transformation from earlier? Yeah. I mean, I looked in the mirror and I just thought, oh, what have I done? My hair's been like that all day. <laughs> but now I'm feeling really Christmassy because it is Christmas. Christmas Eve and we're going to go and party and the whole house has been transformed for tonight. Come on, show us. Just before I show you through the house, I'm going to show you the footage that Mummy and Percy sent of them delivering the food parcels. I've been looking through it all. 
it's really incredibly moving. But I've decided only to show people walking away uh, to protect their privacy. There's just one woman that, that you'll see from the front and even she's wearing a mask and a big hat because she recognized Mummy and Percy from last year. They had a long chat and she was very happy to be filmed. I know you since last year you give me. You remember? Yeah. <laughs> you give me. Yes. Yeah. So it's about the same thing as last year. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. Take what care. Thank you and give you more. <laughs> <laughs> See you next year. Merry Christmas! Two happy recycle men on their way. Bye. Look Bye. at you, Natty! Wow! Thank you. Oh. You look amazing. You look like, like an angel. Yes. Thank you. I didn't get that theme dress code. <laughs> so it's an angel and two little devils. <laughs> Have you seen the table for tomorrow? Yes, mm -hmm. I saw it. It looks amazing. <laughs> I want to sit here now. Wow. <laughs> it's not for today. We have to wait. wait one more day. One more night. Beautiful. Oh, Thank amazing. you. I really love, I love the nativity. I love it with the tree in the background. It's really nice. Yeah. You, you said you'd never had a tree here before? Never had a tree in this room. I'm wondering oh. how we coped now. It's magical. We've still got some finishing touches to do. We have to do the seating plan. We're going to add lots more little tiny lights tomorrow, but Michael has used them in the meantime for the table next door, which is tonight's apéro dinatoire. Come and I'll show you that. Oh. Mr. Potts! Wow, fancy meeting you here. Fancy meeting you here, look what you did. Oh, well, you I didn't cook anything. Really <laughs> no, but Michael decorated this room for tonight. I love it. It's beautiful. That's nice. It's so really good. So hungry. The food looks amazing. Spring rolls, uh, canapé, sushi, uh, deviled eggs, uh, guacamole, spring rolls, sausage rolls, sausage rolls, spring rolls, pinch one of those, guacamole. It's amazing. It's good. Okay, have you seen the tree with all the presents under it? Yes. <gasps> okay. Come and I'll show you. I told you it was our best tree yesterday. You finally agree? Yeah. It is our so. best tree. Are you ready for this? Absolutely. <gasps> oh, it looks amazing. <laughs> this is so magical. And you look beautiful, Kim. And Davy, can you show everyone how amazing you look? Because it is incredible. Look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, whoa, double <laughs> bottle opening. Lucky I brought that two glasses. So <laughs> A special Merry sure. Christmas this year. Oh, Woo! yay! Ooh. Marie, would you like a no, glass? Thank you. And Natty, a glass for thank you. you. Davy and Hash, very Merry Christmas to all of you from La Lan. Thank you so much for following Advent with us, <laughs> for joining our madness yes. every single day. And I know that many of you will be alone at Christmas this year because of lockdown. And I want you to know that we're all thinking of you. We hope that being able to watch these videos has enabled you to live Christmas with us yeah. and experience it with people. We're all thinking of all of you and sending you a lot of love from La Land. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas all. Merry 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 Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoyed today's Advent video. And if you would like to see the one that I made last year with Michael Patrick, I will put a link to that now. Merry Christmas to you all. Merry Christmas.